Welcome to the Virtual Insanity Podcast. Please like and subscribe. Look at him, sexy fellow. <laughs> Welcome back to the Virtual Insanity Podcast. As you can see, we have someone new. Uh, this is Simon. Simon, do you want to say hi to the people? Hello. Hello there. Hello there. Hello what? there. Ooh. I watched um, there's a, an episode of uh, Insider, um, and they do food comparison. Mm. Um, it's an American guy and a British guy, majoritively. Um, and they just compare McDonald's, so, yeah, yeah. you know, McDonald's from America. What do they have that we don't, and then what we have and they don't? Diabetes. And they, well, yeah. <laughs> they, they, did, they did one on, on grocery shopping, and one of the things was beans. Mm. I mean, another thing was uh, Coleman's mustard. Mm -hmm. And the American guy, nobody told him that you just meant to like <laughs> put that like a little smidgen of that. That's all you need. He just went full bore, <laughs> yum, and, and and enjoyed it. I don't know how why he enjoyed it, but he enjoyed it. Okay. And I, yeah, Branston pickle. It was the Sweating same. Out of his eyes. Yeah, Branston pickle was the same. <laughs> like whoa. And then he got to the beans. He just had them cold. I was just like, you you can't do that. That's not. No. My dad loves opening a can of beans. Yeah. Block of mature cheese. Oh just god. Cut it off <laughs> and pop it in. <laughs> oh god, why? <laughs> Can you remember the Alan Partridge episode? He's like, Do you want a couple of beans, Mr. Partridge? <laughs> <laughs> and he puts the cheese in like it's a savoury ninety-nine. <laughs> <laughs> cheese. Yeah. On beans. Yeah. On cheese on toast. That's like, yeah, that's like deluxe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One better, but not good for your heart. I promise you this. Fried bread. Yeah. Beans. Cheese. Or fried bread. Beans. Fried egg. Shit! Ooh. I'm telling you, it is an elite. <laughs> now listen, your heart yeah. will just be like, I will, I will hurt you <laughs> in, in ways, but... Your taste buds are just like that's the greatest thing I've ever eaten because it is just stodge on stodge yeah. on stodge. Especially, I like beans like cement, so right, I can't, yeah, I, can't yeah. I can't deal with this. Not like, the runny beans. No, no, no they've we got have to be... make a barrier between that and the rest of your food because it runs. Yes, there. no, I can't be dealing with that. So I like beans that have basically been boiled to be within an inch of their life. Do you know what I mean? You try different brands of beans. Yeah. None of them live up to a hind no. baby's now. No, 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 they, no, they're missing something. I, I can't quite work it out what, what it's... I'm assuming it's sugar. Sugar and salt, I would imagine, is what, what's missing. Right, so I, I once accidentally bought Branston baked beans, and someone said, you have to put a, t a tablespoon of water in there just to get them going. What the fuck? I'm like, if I've got to add anything to it, tinned food... What? It's going back in the tin, and I'm going to get the good stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, you've got... To Got to get it going. <laughs> get it going. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god! Wow. No, I um, that's that's a good. What about you? What's what's the weirdest concoction? Or what do you think is normal, but everybody else thinks this is a weird concoction for food that you just absolutely just enjoy? Muller. Chocolate digestive. Yeah. With a slice of blue cheese. No. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you do. No, you don't. Yeah. You don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Disgusting! <laughs> Honestly, like the tang of the blue cheese, but then the sweet chocolate. Do you like blue cheese? No, because it smells like feet. Well, there you go then. There's... Becca does. She absolutely loves blue cheese. Yeah, Danish blue. Like, I mean, I didn't realise there was different yeah, yeah, varieties yeah, yeah. Oh, of blue. Yeah. It's just don't, uh, not Stilton because it don't, doesn't only smell like feet. It's got the toe cheese on the oh. end. It's got the crust. Oh no! So it's like foot with athlete's foot. On no, the I end. can't. Danish blue, oh man, yeah, Danish blue. Oh, 
No, I'm I'm all right with just cheddar. <laughs> <laughs> or I like Monterey Jack. Yeah, it's yeah, super yeah. like melty. Um, I didn't like uh, camembert until a few years ago because it again the smell is so yeah. strong. But actually, a camembert and a nice freshly oven cooked baguette. Mm. And you're just like dip it. In. I like brie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brie's all right. I can't I can't be dealing with these feet smelling stinkers. You know what I mean? Yeah, you just got to get your head around it. Chocolate digestive, and chocolate cheese. digestive and cheese. Try it with mature mature cheese as well, but it's the like the sweet chocolate and then the savoury on it. I'm gonna go back and try that. Yeah, I'm not gonna try it because I'll be You're sick. You're gonna try it? No, I'll be sick. I'll definitely. I might bring some next time. Do it. <laughs> stink this. Stink yeah, just, yeah, just do it. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, wow. So I mean, I thought I was crazy, but obviously not. <laughs> I just mix cereal, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Feeling brave, yeah, like um, Wheatos and Cheerios. So Wheatabix and Cocoa Pops. Fucking bacon. Honestly, okay. fucking bacon. What is the perfect ratio of Wheatabix in a bowl? It's got to be five. Five. Yeah, and you got to stack them. Okay. I was used to do three. Okay. So two at the bottom. Yeah. And then one bridge in the two. Put milk on it. Yeah. Sugar. Yeah. Put the next one on. Oh, damn. Put, put <laughs> yeah. the next one on. Then just like lightly yeah. dust that yeah. with lightly milk. Lightly fetter that with, yeah. with milk. And then, yeah. then, then put more uh, sugar. More sugar. Yeah. But then by that time, the milk is at least probably a centimetre of Weetabix left on yeah. the top so the sugar doesn't all disappear. Yeah. And just dig in. Yeah. Perfection. Yeah. So and I kind of taste at the bottom of the bowl. Yes. Whoa. So I kind of do the same thing but with five. Because three is just not enough. Three, if I have three Weetabix, I'm just left like, I just kind of wish I had a bit more Weetabix. Yeah. But then, you know, if you go and get more Weetabix, mm. you're like, no. <laughs> you, just like you, don't, like, no. you don't cook four slices of toast in one go, you have no. two. Yeah. And then you go, yeah, definitely one more. But yeah. you have another two. Yeah. And you've only had two slices twice. Exactly. But you've not had four slices of toast. Exactly. So you don't feel <laughs> fat and you're definitely not fat because, you know, you've done it separately. Uh, but yeah, Weebix, Cocoa Pops, Weebix and Nesquik, Special K and Nesquik. It's kind of just adding that chocolatey, mm -hmm. you know, or I could do it with ice cream as well. Cocoa Pops and ice cream, pure mango. Don't do chocolate milk <laughs> <laughs> and Cocoa Pops because you will wow. be sick. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I promise you. <laughs> I know from experience. That was bad. And it's like chocolate on chocolate. So yeah. it's just like brown. <laughs> just everywhere. You're just like, God. Oh. <laughs> so Aldi have got these chocolate bars called Titans right and obviously to go with Mars although Mars isn't named after the planet it's named after the founder of the company who was Forrest Mars right um, and he just named it after himself <laughs> so the fact that Aldi call it Titan is just like dumb yeah um, and you open it and okay it looks a bit like a Mars bar and then you taste it, and yeah, you've got nougat, nougat, and then you've got caramel, and you've got chocolate. But it doesn't taste the same. It tastes cheap. Like I don't know what it is. I don't know what I don't know what the difference like in theirs is. Is that like Mama want a Mars bar? We've got Mars bars at home. Yes. <laughs> and then you look, and it's a fucking tight bar. <laughs> oh. Do you know what I mean? And it's just like, oh, for God's sake, like. And we, I'm gonna, we're going to taste test them. So I'm going to get a Mars bar for next week. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get a Titan bar. Okay. I think we've still got several of them. Because <laughs> nobody <laughs> eats Try them. Try one and bind it. Fucking horrible. <laughs> um, and I'm going to get you to... We'll, we'll blind taste. We'll blind taste test it. Yeah, yeah. And we'll see you can... You're really going to put a blindfold on me in this sex dungeon <laughs> down here. Yeah. I've got a black... Tried um, a Titan bar and tried a Mars bar. And then other American chocolate, and American chocolate sucks ass. Right. <laughs> and it tastes like sick, especially Hershey's bars. Yeah, I think I've heard about that. They put, um, then they put a preservative in it to yes for like long distance travel between the dairy farms and production. Yes. Some uh, butric acid. That's the one. Yes. Same thing in vomit. Yes. <laughs> so that's why it's, that's why he has an aftertaste of vomit. Yeah. They also put less chocolate in it and more sugar. Don't fucking dare bring me that shit. I tried another. I saw. I saw a fucking TikTok of um, Kit Kat. Mm -hmm. 
and KitKat had released this themselves, right? So this is their own thing, right? They're like, yeah, KitKat tomato sauce. It tastes amazing. And like it, the the little shorts that we're doing were just them running up to people like, do you want to try it? And they're like, yes, yeah, and some of them love it, some of them hate it. And I was just like, but the way the people yeah. like loved it, it was like, okay, there's got to be something in there. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I brought a Kit Kat. Oh, no. And obviously got the tomato sauce out of the fridge and uh, yeah, squirted it on and I <laughs> just fucking bit that shit. It was the worst thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was horrendous. I'd bit spit like oh, you know, no because <laughs> you, you know I had to yeah once it's in there do you know what I mean like I've got a beard so you yeah, well, yeah you know spitting's not the best thing like hello what? there it's disgusting yeah. I can't you know when you were a kid did you ever used to make um, cornflake or rice crispy cake yeah yeah with the worst tasting chocolate ever known to man yeah because your mum would be always like oh we have to use this particular type of chocolate because it's cooking chocolate carrot oh, chocolate <laughs> Carob. Yeah, like, yeah. no, just use dairy milk. Yeah. And now being an adult and making Rice Krispie treats, I just use dairy milk. Yeah. It's or Galaxy. Way. It's the only way. Because it's the only one. Bang. Yeah. Oh. They're like, you know, the posh <laughs> Rice Krispie treats. <laughs> the only problem is you have to get the ratio right between chocolate and Rice Krispies because if you don't, you end up with these like solid bricks <laughs> of Rice Krispie chocolate. Do you know what I mean? You want it so it's they can still pull away a bit yeah tim tams from australia Ooh. which are basically penguins right um a well-known australian animal <laughs> yeah well they call them tim tams then right. and that's probably why they call them tim tams because they've got penguins <laughs> even though we don't why do we call them penguins we ain't got penguins in our country <laughs> just one of them i suppose um but it don't, doesn't taste as good as a penguin. But again, I'm probably going to be biased because I grew up on penguins. You know what I mean? Oh my god! I thought you were actually talking about penguins. Oh no! Sorry. The biscuit. The yeah, the biscuit. Yeah, penguin. yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Taste the biscuit. Taste the goodness of the biscuit. Yeah. So, uh, Australia have Tim Tams. Yes. Um, and it's it's just. The Australian a version of the penguin. Right. <laughs> penguin. I bet that must have been a really fucked up like conversation yeah. I was having. You just like, yeah. he eats penguins. What the fuck? I thought it was like a chocolate bar shaped like a penguin. No, like, no, the one with the with the joke on the back. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. like, sweet Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> like you can tell the person writing the jokes is probably the same person that's been writing jokes for the last thirty years, and you can really tell because he's just yeah, like, yeah. fuck off. <laughs> jokes are meant to make yeah. you happy, not sad. <laughs> Yeah, you just look at the joke and you're like, I'm confused more than anything. What does that fucking mean? Like, shit. Um, so they had the original version. Well, which is brown and sticky. Yeah. Your dad's a dick after his yeah. structure. Yeah. I'm sure that used to say a stick before. But Jesus the Christ. <laughs> Pictures of Jimmy Savile on the packages instead of the penguins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> There's definitely a market for that, I swear to God. There's definitely a market for that. You know what I mean? Like Halloween or something. <laughs> <laughs> What is your absolute worst chocolate out of the big brands? What is the one that is always disappointing when you think, oh, could, maybe they've got better in the last 20 years? And you have one, and it is as disappointing. <laughs> I mean, it would probably be a vodka, if I'm being really honest. Yeah, Mars bars haven't changed apart from the size. They've just gotten ridiculously small. Everything's got small. Same with Snickers, We've same got with bigger. Twix. Yeah, but, like, but everything has got small. Yeah, like they're so tiny nowadays, it's ridiculous. Um buttons have always been buttons, milky bars have always been milky bar. Yeah, but they're great. Like they're great. What is the worst? I'm really not sure because <laughs> I know. Go on. Wagon wheels. I oh, see I don't like wagon wheels. No. They're fucking green. They're, they're horrible. Yeah. Absolutely I'm sure they taste stale straight out the fucking basket as well. Absolutely. Like, what is going on? <laughs> it's 
rubbery, soggy biscuit. <laughs> oh, no. A slice of jam. And the, that weird spongy kind of foamy yeah. middle. And then the thinnest sheet of chocolate covering it. There's no substance to any of it other than disappointment. Of can, which it, yeah, it, it, there is a lot. Big disappointment. Yeah. But I can imagine that with, with like snowballs and... You know yeah. any of those marshmallow things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't texture, like it. Bad yeah. times. I don't like that texture. Like, what? What is? What is your worst food? Like, what's? Tomatoes. Is it? Yeah. Instant vomit. Really? Yeah. Instant. Okay. And it's. I can have tomato ketchup. Yeah. I can just about eat pizza, but if there's too much like tomato base on it, I will take a bit of crust and I will scrape the tomato off. that bit off. Fresh tomatoes make me. Mm -hmm. Wow. The texture straight away in my mouth. No. But I can tomato flavoured stuff, fine. Wow. But I can't eat bolognese, lasagnas. Because it's all tomato based. Because it's all tomato based. Wow. Yeah, it's it's almost like an allergic reaction, but it's not. It's just, it's in. <laughs> no, it's out. Yeah. Can't. Yeah. Yeah. I know that. I know that I've put some dodgy things in my mouth in my time, but. Tomatoes will not stay. <laughs> Get away! Yeah. I uh, mashed potato. I remember. I, I can't. <laughs> I can't. And you know what the worst thing about mashed potato is? Is when when everybody's finished the Sunday dinner mm -hmm. and there's mash left yeah. and there's gravy left. Yeah. And then you know the barrier between the yeah, mash yeah. and the gravy just blends. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> So, like, uh, that doesn't bother me, and the way to <laughs> way to get around that situation when you're finished, you get a slice of bread. No, you don't. No, no you fucking don't. <laughs> no, you fucking Mom. don't. You are just dirty. <laughs> <laughs> you're just dirty, you are, aren't you? What the fuck? Why? 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 But do you have thick gravy or runny gravy? Uh. Because I know some people and their gravy is dish water. It's that yeah. gravy, it's not. So, I tend to go for, like, in the middle. I can't do super thick gravy. Yeah, you, the, because the potential for the skin. skin the <laughs> 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 What's that one you feed to your dog? Tribe. Tribe. <laughs> you ever seen what tribe looks like? Yes. <laughs> Brother, ugh. leave your reaction in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. And you, I've I've been in a house when somebody's been cooking that for the dog, mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes they're like, "Yeah, I'll eat some of that," and you just like, yeah, I, I'm leaving." Yeah, bye bye. Hey, you, you can... I don't eat chicken on the bone. Is it because of the gristle knuckle? It's because of the knuckle. Yeah. Because I remember tucking in some nice chicken on the bone, some fried chicken on the bone, do you know yeah. what I mean? And just grabbed this one part of the bone, grabbed this other part of the bone, and for some reason I just went, and it just went. Yeah. That was me, Don. <laughs> <laughs> I literally put the food back in the plate. <clears throat> See, I'll have nothing. You've seen people when they eat the chicken wings and they just crush it in and pull the bones out. So, and you know there is tendon. And well, I can actually tell you if you want. Yeah. So I watch a guy called Beard Meets Food on yeah, YouTube. Like fucking great. Love like, I love watching that guy. Yeah. And he did it. He just. He, he, I can't remember what challenge it was. It was in Manchester, and it was the wings challenge. Okay, yeah. there we go. So he just <laughs> grabbed the chicken wing, popped it, and it looked like an umbrella. Yeah. And he just ate it, and I was like, "That's fucking sick." Yeah. I'm gonna try that. Literally, <laughs> I saw. I swear to God, we drove to KFC. <laughs> Like, got in the car, KFC, let's fucking go. Got there, got my wings, I'm going to fucking do this. Yeah. Did it, ate it, regretted it instantly. Yeah. Because I was just like, what's in my mouth? <laughs> the gristle missile. <laughs> yeah. It's horrible. And I was just like, oh. <laughs> I didn't, you know, you have to eat it. because So I ate it, never again. No. Never again. No. But it worked. Yeah. It turns it into a, like a lollipop, which is the <laughs> fucking weirdest thing. Yeah, literally. Um, 
Yeah, like, I mean, some of the stuff that guy eats, I, I don't know how he does it. Like, he doesn't like mushrooms. And I don't get why. Because mushrooms you can hide in anything. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I never used to like mushrooms. I do like them now. Probably wouldn't just eat a mushroom. No. But. They're too fucking weird looking on the inside. Oh, the little fins. Yeah, the, you know, the, port, yeah, the portobello yeah. mushrooms. Yeah, where yeah, it's yeah. just like, what are those fins? <laughs> <laughs> it yeah, looks, then... looks like something. Have you, ever seen, have you seen Nope? Uh, Jordan Peele's um, latest. I say latest, it's been out for a while. Is that the. On the ranch. And yeah. The, yes, yeah, yeah. I've seen it. It's yeah, like yeah. the weirdest alien. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that reminds me of that. Of a mushroom. <laughs> yeah, literally, yeah. like, oh. I can't, no, oh, no. No. Speaking of aliens, uh, Alien Romulus. Yeah. You've been to see it, haven't you? I have. Enjoy it? Unbelievable. Yeah? 10 out of 10. Is it member buried out of its mind, or is it actually a decent story, decent characters? Do you get to understand the characters, or is it just another... <laughs> Let's churn this bitch out, call it Alien, and fucking make shitloads of money for a quick second before it dives. It is... I think they've called it an interquel. Right. Not a sequel, not a prequel. It is a link between Alien yeah. and Aliens. Right. It's banging. Okay. And they've made it because it's 20 years after Alien. Right. So obviously Ripley's somewhere in yeah. hypersleep doing a little whatever she's doing nothing in a cold box yeah so the feel of it is like aliens the set is like aliens yeah she's got the fucking rebox yeah like you know what to be sad it's only because like and again everybody that watches the show knows i've got a big fucking problem with remakes and reboots and trailers because trailers nowadays just decide to show you the whole fucking movie mm -hmm. um, like here's the best parts of the movie but still go watch the movie and you're like oh. so as a promotion in the UK they're running uh, Odeon they've got the popcorn bucket with a face hugger on it oh nice so yesterday how many people have fucked them well yesterday as a work I'm like I've got nothing to do tonight I'm going to finish work I'm going to go straight up to the Odeon registered online this is an advert. This is not <laughs> yeah. an advert for Odeon. It cost me a fiver for the cinema ticket. Nice, yeah, because it's Cin World Cinema Day or so, Cinema Week no, or it's something. Just, it's just Odeon Cinema. If you book online, oh, sick. it's a fiver. You get the fam uh, the Day Saver ticket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I finished work at half three. Nice. Yesterday, I finished at quarter to three. Nice. Booked my ticket, got to the cinema for three, because it's five minutes away from my house, and just sat down. No alien popcorn buckets left. Sold out. I'm too late to the party. However, you know that the face hug is going to play a massive part in it. Yeah. That. Mate. Seen arachnophobia? Once. Yeah. Imagine that in space. Yeah. I, I, again, on the trailer, I saw one of the trailers and that thing just looked fucking like it. It's gone from just being in like a, an egg... And then firing out of an egg, and and it mm -hmm. to now being like a its own being. If you look, like, instead of it just being the vehicle from from the egg to transport the alien into the body, it's now seems like it's become its own character. If that makes sense, do you know what I mean? Like, it's no longer just just the vehicle to get the alien in you. Yeah, it's like it's... now it's become more. This was definitely less about the xenomorph, xenomorph, than the facehuggers. The facehuggers definitely feel more of a threat. Yeah. But it's just, oh. Every character that comes in, you go, you're going to die. Yeah. It's, you're going to die. This is my. I know you're going to die. You're a dick. This is my issue with it. Like, the, I love Alien, the, yeah. the original Alien. Yeah. And the trailer for the original Alien needs to be studied in 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 college in in university in, in in education it needs to be this is how you make a trailer for a movie this is this is how you do it because you watch if you watch the original alien trailer I've, I've i've said this so many times if you watch the original alien tra uh, trailer fuck it gives you fucking nothing mm -hmm. and when I saw the first Alien Romulus like teaser trailer, it did the exact same thing. Yeah. And you were like, okay, I'm excited now because, you know what I mean? 
the second trailer came out and it was like, oh, remember this? Remember the remember the remember the fog? Remember the lasers? Remember yeah. The, and you're like, oh, here we go. Like you know what I mean? Like it's just going to be a nostalgia push. And the reason I love the original Alien is because it's yes, it's about the alien, but it's it's actually about it's actually about the dark spaces that you cannot fathom. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like you don't know if something is there or not, and that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of the spaceship being so long and um, like empty and quiet. Like you don't know where this thing is, and then like towards the end of that movie, the alien's like right in front of your face, but you don't realize until it like unfurls itself, and you're like, "Fuck, it was there all along!" Oh my god, you know what I mean? Like, made the opening and that's credits. that's like. That's the beauty of that yeah. movie. Yeah. It, 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 it's what's not there that's scary. The opening credits of Romulus are in the same font. Yeah. The names come up and it's got like a weird 70s blur around yeah. the edges of it. Stranger Things did that in their first series. Right. Incredible. Yeah. Um, I also heard that Stranger Things, uh, the first series, I think the sky that they used, mm -hmm. the night sky, was the same night sky that was used in E.T., Okay. You know, to kind of push yeah, that like yeah, nostalgia. Yeah, yeah. Um and again the credits for that for that series, that first series was very much eighties inspired, like 80s. incredible. And and, and it, it's not that anymore. And I, I, I personally think we should go back to to that way of making movies. Yeah. Everything virtually practical effects and kind of like yeah. real talent, real yeah, skills, not just right. So we're gonna use a computer to make this and this and that. you know what I mean. Like watching Marvel, watching Endgame and Infinity War, and seeing what they can do with it, and especially at the end of Endgame. Mm -hmm. like, spoilers. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean. You've had time. To watch, yeah. <laughs> You've had fucking time to watch that. Come <laughs> when every fucker comes through. Yeah, and the the, the 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 vast amount of people. That's incredible. That looks amazing. Um, but when it's just stupid shit that doesn't need, like I, I spoke about this before, it's Star Wars. Mm -hmm. I only, I only see the first three Star Wars as they're the only ones. Right, okay. The original trilogy. Yeah, yeah. That, that's it for me. Mm -hmm. There's no Phantom Menace. There's no Attack of the Clones and whatever it is. Mm -hmm. There's none of that for me. <clears throat> not interested. Just not bothered by it. But you can only watch one version or one or two versions of that of those tri of those trilogies because. They've ruined it because they've added CGI. Like Jabba the Hutt now, yeah, looks like a CGI. Like it doesn't even look like he's there. There's a there was an extended scene that they put in to the first one, and it was Han Solo talking to Jabba. Yeah, and it was a guy in a suit. Yeah, or a long coat, and um, Harrison Ford walks behind him, and then they had to. Add Jabba the Hutt in as a CGI, but then add him stepping on his tail and moving yeah. the original frame up, and it looks it's too just fake. janky as fuck. And it's just like you uh, can't have CGI Jabba no. in Episode One, and then real world practical effects yeah, in Return of the yeah, Jedi. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't work, and no. I just prefer practical effect. I think practical effects are just way they're way better because they're in the they're in the reality. You yeah. know, like you can touch it, you can feel it. Like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Yeah, it's all practical work, pretty much. It is. I rode on the B. Did you really? And we went to Disney World when I was a kid, so nineteen ninety, and they'd got the B. So my sister was on top, holding on to me, and we had to look like we were scared. And then they CGI'd that in motion, like Whoa. the actual scene. But we were laughing the whole way through. <laughs> like, try and look scared. Like this is amazing. Yeah. What would you do in that situation? Well, if I was shrunk. Yeah. Probably die. You reckon? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd have been eaten by the first it's, it's quite easy <laughs> yeah. like, at that point. Also, right, they're about that big. Yes. Because it ends up inside a Cheerio. Yes, it does, yeah. But they ride on the back of an ant, Yeah. which is about that long compared to them. Their ants are this big? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Friend of the show, Gary's in uh, Florida right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he sent me a couple of interesting things this morning that I woke up to. Um, Nudes? I, unfortunately <laughs> not. Unfortunately not. It was just Gary shooting an AK yep. and some other gun. 
I'm not big on guns, so mm. I don't know what gun it was, but he was firing it and have a great time. And then he was like, yeah, I'm just showing the bed with this. And I was like, all right. Now, everybody knows Gary and insects are like a thing. He goes to Australia a lot. Okay. And he, he had a story um, about the time he plugged his phone in, wanted to plug his phone in or his Mac, uh, put his hand down blind mm-hmm. to find the plug, look down and there's just a fucking giant huntsman there mm-hmm. and he just fucking, yeah, like that, yeah. Um, well, this was just a fucking giant cockroach. Okay. On his bed, just just sharing the bed with him, <laughs> just like, yeah, this is my bed, bro. Like, yeah, bad size of your phone. You know what I mean? And you're just like, holy fucking shit. Like, I can't, no. I can't. The, the, the insect sizes are, are insane. Like, but it's it's, fuck, <laughs> it's fucking mental thinking about just being like that big. Just like, <laughs> what would you do? Fuck no, it's probably fall down fucking... I'd, I'd fall down the wooden floor. So what was the first film you can remember that you watched in a situation that you definitely shouldn't have been watching it? Okay, so we're talking like... Childhood, yeah. pre-10 years old. Yeah. You've caught your mum and dad watching a violent movie or... Yeah. Not an adult movie, but something that you definitely were too young to have witnessed. So I had a pretty cool uncle... Um, that decided that I should just watch all of these movies um, before <laughs> the age limit. And I was just like, yeah, I'm cool for that. Um, and I believe it was either The Running Man or like Predator or Alien. So yeah. one of the more sort of like hyper-violent movies that you could watch. Um, and I just remember it and just not being phased by it, if I'm being completely honest. Right. I, I just... I just accepted it for what it was, and okay, and that that was it, um, and and loved it, and kind of fell in love with the the cheesiness, yeah, 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 that goes along, you know, the one liners, the yeah, you know, how they're all just <laughs> <laughs> just just blokes, aren't they? Yeah, they yeah just yeah, kick yeah. ass. Um, yeah, what about you? Robocop. Yeah. In Scotland. Yeah. With my parents and my sister. Yeah. Late at night, I think it was my parents' anniversary, so I would have been about six or seven. Yeah. My sister's three years older, so she's still far too young to have seen it. Oh, yeah. Sent to bed, not a problem. Parents have stayed up, they're enjoying a movie. We can hear gunfire coming from downstairs, and we're like, what is going on? That's really, really loud. So we go downstairs, or across the landing to the top of the stairs, and it was almost like a galley. Yeah. So you could go down the stairs, but you could stand on the top of the banister. So we sat at the top of the stairs and you could see Robocop. And we walked in, in as they're in the factory and he's being executed. Yeah. And you just saw this guy's arms get shot off. Yeah. And then they just keep shooting him and keeping him alive. And then they execute him on the floor. And that, Scarred me. <laughs> just, just, just say no, it. no. <laughs> Go to bed now, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah great. Thanks. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Clarence Bodica is the guy that was, uh, shot Murphy. Uh, yeah. And Clarence Bodica, uh, the actor who played him, also played uh, Red in uh, that seventy show. <laughs> you know the dad? Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. Which is. Uh, Incredible, just, yeah, just just incredible. Yeah, that movie is uh, mm-hmm. that's pretty intense. Yeah, like to watch as a as a first. Not good. Like, you know, but did Predator not freak you out? Like the only the bit you the it. only bit that freaked me out with Predator was seeing the skinned yeah bodies. I was just a bit <laughs> like, oh, okay. Um, but other than that, everything else was just like, yeah, this is cool guns, yeah. murder. I mean. You, Big strap on mini. You know, yeah, you you know, you you know, what, eight years old, six, seven, eight years old. You see him like big guns, yeah, violence. In the jungle. Yeah, you you kinda you mm. just accept it for what it was and think it was cool, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like um Yeah, I fucking I loved it. I, I it, to be fair it turned out sort of like we'd end up watching some crazy ass movie, sort yeah. of like every sort of Friday night. Um so I sort of watched all the classics. Yeah. Um, and again, like with Alien and stuff, it 
It's only when I got older did I sort of realise more. Alien for me when I first. <laughs> alien for me, like when I first watched it, it, was about the alien. Yeah. Because you're a kid and it's just like, what are the alien? <laughs> When you're older, you like I said, you, you think about the, the what's not there in those dark spaces in the corridors and mm. the silence, and so it kind of gets you on two different two different ways. I think the same with RoboCop or RoboCop Two as well. Like stupidly hyper violent is probably the words I would I, I'd yeah. class it as. Like just so much violence, and you sort of watch it now and you're like, bloody hell, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. but you. I don't know, you just accepted it back in the day. You know? Back when an 18 was an 18. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it was a big leap from a 15 to an 18. Yeah. I watch 18s now and I'm just like, are you being serious? Like, what? What's 18 about this? Yeah. You, there is, you know, there's no... Back when, you know, Watership Down... <laughs> Bright eyes. <laughs> that was classed as a universal when we were kids. Easter special. Yeah, that was an Easter special, <laughs> that one. See, your kids enjoy your Easter eggs with this. <laughs> Any, I, I'm still saying, any British person that is around our age, mm -hmm. you mentioned that 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 movie, and you just watched the the PTSD just come alive, you know, because <laughs> it's honestly horrendous, oh. like really, really horrendous. It's Art Garfunkel. Singing bright eyes to an animated rabbit yeah. that descends into some weird trippy Dumbo psychedelic yeah, it does. title sequence, and then you go, "Oh, this is going to be a nice, lovely little family <laughs> film about rabbits." Yeah. No, here's a field of blood. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, what's the main rabbit called? Fiverr. Just terrifying. <laughs> just, just, just terrifying. The whole thing's just Hazel. terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> just the, the 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 massacre the just in fact wasn't one of the voices john hurt i'm almost certain it was john hurt yeah um richard Briers did the main oh my god we're showing our ages <laughs> he's in... so I, <clears throat> I i spoke ever so slightly last week um about you know raymond briggs if i said to you raymond briggs what pops into your head Right now, nothing. So, Raymond Briggs was the creator of The Snowman. Okay. And Father Christmas. You know the two... We're walking in the... Uh, yeah, The Snowman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's uh, Father Christmas where he goes on holiday mm -hmm. throughout the, the year until Christmas. Like, okay. Just happy, nice-ish. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Super sad at the end of The Snowman, but yeah. that still destroys <clears throat> me today. Um, but you have carrots for life. Just puts me off wanting The Snowman ever, because... Mm -hmm. Like honestly, when I remember first watching that movie and just being like so happy about the snowman, and then it it, it ends so abruptly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like fuck you. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. done. And just seeing that mound, and him just fall to his knees and crying. I, I was done. Like, every single year. Every single year. <laughs> Even when I got older, I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna cry. Yep, in yep. tears. And then the snow, the snowman, and the snow dog came out. Yeah. yeah, even worse because it was a dog. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway, Raymond Briggs creates these beautiful little stories. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, he created something called When the Wind Blows, right? Which is a utterly terrifying story about nuclear war and nuclear holocaust. Well, of course, the one for Boxing Day then. So, um, the 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 movie that was made uh, used different uh, art styles. So there was cartoon live action mm. and 3d animation all in one movie right it's very clever how it's been put together mm. but again 3d like stop motion claymation or no 3d computer, computer generate but okay. it's it's done so well um but it's done in the style of raymond briggs so it's like really nice looking like features and yeah. like the old people because it's based around two old people Okay. That live in a house just in in the countryside, away from kind of everything, mm. and they don't really know. Like they hear about war, nuclear wars coming and stuff, and they hear it on the news, like on the radio, and they're both so like quite innocent in in how they both deal with it. You know what I mean? Right. Like they don't really think it's going to be a big thing. Then it happens, and it's honestly the 
the descent into chaos because obviously they're both dying because they're still going out like for instance they're like oh the, the postman's not arrived right oh okay. he must be late because of the nuclear war like, like it's kind of like that and they're drinking the water and they drink and so they're just getting irradiated and they're slowly oh, but gosh. surely dying and it's fucking horrendous until next time thank you for listening a comment like or share really helps us out and we would love to hear your stories and thoughts in the comments section below.